Well, uh, it's been an exciting three weeks, uh, fall camp, of course, spring ball and everything through the transition. And uh, we finally get to do what we're excited about doing is seeing this 2015 team get on the field and, and, and kick this season o op you know, open. And, uh, you know, it's, it's time to put it to, you know, put the test to, to what we have to get done and uh, kind of excited. So uh, other than that, I just kind of opened it up for some things. Joe just said, in terms of the offense, uh, him and Tony Daniels had a conversation. This is the best they feel about the offense going forward. Do you have that same feeling in terms of what you've been able to see the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I've been very impressed with both guys, though, the way they've absorbed, uh, you know, the, the new terminology, what Andy has asked, Andy Koldnicki, our offense coordinator, what we've asked of him, uh, you know, as far as getting us in the run and pass situations, making great decisions, understanding where we're going with things. So all those things are, are you know, but uh, I think each and every day, every player gets a little more comfortable in what, what our expectations are. In terms of defining success, for this team this year, I know it's your first win. I know a lot of times people look at the win, the win column to, to determine success. What barometer are you going to use uh, starting this week? after Albany to determine the level of success where you expect us to be. Well, I think you're alluding to probably how we operate a lot, but uh, I think ultimately we are, the, the barometer is the win-loss column, and that's how we'll be be judged. But uh, I think uh, everything that we've asked our players to do um, from a daily basis, and that's get a little better at something than they weren't the, the day before. And if we can if we can continue to hit daily improvement, I think you'll, we'll, we'll see the improvement and what we're hoping to get, uh, whether that is, in wins and losses right away, I think, uh, again, I, I think I've said it to maybe Mark and a few others that have been out here on a regular basis. I, I really look forward to uh, maybe halfway through the season or a year from now when when we know exactly what we have, what we're playing against, and I'll answer a lot of these questions a lot better. <laughs> what side do you personally start to really get on the field and actually play a game? Finally? Well, I, you know, the, yeah, you know, I think a lot of that would be would be selfish. I'm excited to play the game because I think a lot of the focus needs to to continue on our players because they're the ones out there. They're putting the work in. It, this is what it's about. It in, in college football is about the student athletes and the work that they put in. And I, the the faster, the more we put the focus on them. I I think uh, the more comfortable I become. Have you, do you have an idea of what the atmosphere is going to be? <laughs> Like this is a bigger place than maybe you're more accustomed to playing. Yeah, I've, I've been better than this big for a game in a long time. It's going to be exciting. I think, again, though, I, I think uh, history shows if you're focused on what you're doing, though, it's really played at about eye level and everything around. Uh, uh, you know, granted, uh, atmosphere is important. Our, you know, our, our home crowd will be very important for us for the first game. Um, but uh, again, uh, once that thing's kicked off, we, we need to be focused on, at, at the job at hand. Well, I think, you know, a, a team that's going to come in very excited for their first opportunity of playing an FBS school, uh, you know, both both schools come from the state of New York. I'm sure that's going to add some some added enthusiasm to the game. Um, you know, much like us, they're they're ready to get this thing kicked off. They're probably tired of hitting themselves, hit, going against each other, much like we are. So I, I think a program gets a chance when they when they step up in levels to, to make a make a splash in things, and we we understand uh, that uh, we're going to absolutely get their best shot. Uh, you know, right now the the plan is that we are going to work Brandon into the rotation right now. That again, that's you know he's still um, in competition, but uh, you know he is uh, one that probably at, at this time that could see action as a true freshman. He's he's had an excellent camp. He's he's been very reliable and durable. Made made some tough plays for us and. Uh, uh, he, like many other of our, our freshmen, we are extremely excited about and feel they have bright futures. What do you think of uh, Joe uh, in total in training camp, uh, you know, having uh, come back from the injury and just what, how do you think he's looked? Uh, you know, I thought he's done extremely well, uh, Mark. Yeah, you know, one of the things we get a trainer's report every day, you know, a lot of the things that, that had for Joe, especially after missing the spring, was that he was going to be limited many times. We, in the, in the two-a-day settings that we had, we had talked about 
maybe limiting him in, in some capacities and or maybe even sitting him out of practice and and we never had to he never missed a rep he never missed a, a day of practice in any way and uh, again very very pleased with uh, everything he's done this is your system at this level for the first time besides the win what might you be well, I want to play. You know, I think all of us as coaches, we, you know, obviously we want to win the game. We want it to be clean. We want to play well, execute well, uh, you know, not beat ourselves in any way and play the game the way it's supposed to be played.